Welcome to Cashbook app. In this video, we will see how to create a group book in Cashbook app and how to use it. To create a group book, you can change any personal cash book to a group book. Now let's go to your cash book screen where I can see all my cash books by tapping on the top left corner. Now you can see I have three cash books here. Now let's assume that I am a grocery shop owner and I have two staff members. They sit in my shop and sell my groceries to my customers. Now I would like to keep track of sales they are making in real time from my home. Now let's create a group book with them. I already have a book called my shop. So let's open it. To add more members to this book, let's tap, tap on member icon on the top. Now you can see I'm already a member. Let's add more members by tapping on add members button here below. Now I have two ways to add my members. Either I can quickly add them from my phone contacts or I can enter their mobile number here and add them. Let's add a member from my contacts. Let's tap on add from your contacts. Let's search for a member. Now you can see this member has four phone numbers. The first one is registered on Cashbook and other three are not registered on Cashbook. So let's add the first one. Now I can choose the role. So there are three roles, viewer, data operator and admin. Viewer can only view entries and download reports. Data operator can view entries, download reports and add new entries to the book. Keep in mind that data operator can't edit or delete any entry. And the third role, admin, who has all the rights. Admin can remove or add new members to the book. Admin can edit or delete any data from the book. And admin can also change the existing role of the any member of the book. Let's use data operator because I would like my member to add entries to my book once they make a sale in a shop. So I'm tapping on add. Okay, so now you can see that Shubham is now a member of my book. And Shubham's role is data operator. I can tap on three dots and I can always change his role by tapping on change role or I can remove him from the book. So this is how you can add a member who is already registered on Cashbook. Let's see how to add a phone number which is not registered on Cashbook. Let's tap on add members. Now let's enter a mobile number this time. So now you can see that it's clearly mentioned here that this number is not a Cashbook user. So it also says that send an invite to this phone number. So now let's choose a rule. So this time let's choose viewer. Let's tap on invite. When you tap on invite, this generates invitation link. So you can see the link here can tap on link to copy the link and you can share it or you can share this link directly via WhatsApp or you can share it on other messaging platforms like text message, email or any other messaging platform. Now once the sharing is done, you can tap on done. Now just in case if you forgot to share earlier, you can still send the invitation to that number by clicking on recent invitation button here, right? Now. Uh, this invitation is pending because this member hasn't installed Cashbook app yet. So once the member clicks on the invitation link, install the Cashbook app and log in with this number in the Cashbook app, the member will get automatically added to your book. So this is how you can create a group book by adding multiple members. Now let's see how we can do entries in a group book and how they are displayed. Let's go back to home screen. So here you can tap on cash and entry and let's do one entry. So for example, I was in the shop for some one day and I sold four packets of milk. So I got 100 rupees from customer. I'm writing sold four milk packets in remark and save. Now I can see the new entry is added, sold four milk packets. And below the remark, I can see by you. That means I have done this entry. Okay, now you can see that uh, Shubham also added two entries here. So Shubham sold four 5 kg rice from the shop. So he added that as a cash in entry. So he got 400 rupees from the customer. But he also spent 120 rupees on his lunch for that day. So 120 is added as a cash out entry. Now you can see the total balance of the book is 380 rupees. Now I want to see how much Shubham spent and how much Shubham collected from the customer. So I can go to filters. If you click on Shubham, click on apply. Now you can see the Shubham's filter is applied here and only entries done by Shubham are shown. Uh, so total cash in by Shubham is 400 rupees. 
that means shubham collected 400 rupees from the customer total and shubham did expense of 120 rupees so this way i can apply filter on any member and see total cash in done by them and total cash out done by them so this is how you can group use group book there are some other use cases of group book so let's explore them so this is for a shop so similarly you can create a group book for home expenses where you can add your family members and manage your home expenses together in a group or you can add your business partners in another book where all the business partners can be admin or regular members and they can track the income and expense of business in a single book so this is how you can use group book if you have more questions please tap on three dots click on help and support scroll down you will find contact us button here this way you can contact our customer support we will help you and answer your queries thank you